song to hang on to your back clothes. Hmm. Apparently until you look like you just joined the circus. I used to think this was pretty funny. I don't think it's funny anymore. It's just getting ridiculous. I literally had one new shirt and a pair of pants I bought back in November for Thanksgiving and they no longer fit me. I almost walked out of them the other day in the grocery store. And I'm exaggerating a bit because these are my husband. But I do have pants like that. This here is ridiculous. And I do wear these to bed. I have worn these to bed. And I started wearing these because of the elastic and how big they were. But how long is too long? Okay, I hang on to my stuff way too long. I still have my shirts. Yeah, so, yeah, you can hang on to things way too long. I had four sizes in my closet. <sighs> it's time to go shopping. I'm gonna get in the shower and I'm gonna get out. I'm gonna get dressed. I put my makeup on first because it always makes me wake up. And then I'm gonna get dressed and go shopping. I can't wait. Yeah. Well, hello. Are you still here? <laughs> okay, you can go shopping with me, but you have to be quiet. I'm gonna sneak you in. rather go naked. I really hate you. I hate you with every fiber of my being. I don't want to put those clothes on again. I know they're not going to fit me. I know they're going to drag. I don't want to put those on. Mm -mm. But I have to to go get some clothes. Put on the enemy. I'd rather go naked. Okay, let's get dressed and go shopping. Moment of truth. These are twelves and they're too big. <laughs> I'm officially in a ten. I like these. They don't have a belt or anything. They have elastic ways. I still have my mudslide. But I'm in a tin. <laughs> a large shirt and a tan pant. That's incredible. My journey is done. That's all I ever was at five foot eight and a half. Yeah, baby, I'm there. <laughs> I love this shirt. I love this shirt. It's so me. It's very kind of 70s. <clears throat> and it's very me. So. pants that actually fit me. Yes, I've got my roll, my skin roll, but you know what? I don't care. I'm in a tin, and I'm in a large, a regular large. <laughs> and I'm there. Wow. I 
can't believe it. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I got sugar lumps from losing all that weight, but you know what? I'd rather have that than be 300 pounds than I am in a tent. Oh my gosh, that shirt's coming home with me. journey. I am officially at my end. I have a lot of firming up to do in a lot of areas and I may never get completely where I want to be but thank God I'm not where I was. I went from a 26 to a 10 pant and a large shirt, which I always ever was. I'm five foot eight and a half, and I am completely elated. I am so happy to be at the end of this journey. It started, let's see, eight months ago. Actually, it started further back than that because I went to the doctor. Uh, I didn't weigh in for four months before that. And being really good, I, I haven't had that much trouble. The last 20 pounds came off very hard and I didn't quite get all those 20 pounds off. But I actually got to where I wanted to be. I don't necessarily uh, look at the scale and go, eh, that's not exactly where I want to be. But honey, I'll tell you, when I got that 10 on, the, the pants, the tins, the large shirts, and the large leggings, I'm five foot eight and a half. I was never smaller than this. Um, and I was 
tall and, and lanky. I was never skinny. Well, my mom says I was skinny, but I guess I was when I was in junior high or high school. But I'll never be that 135 pound person again because my body's not the same. I've had three children and as you know, um, things just don't go back where they're supposed to be. And when you lose 140 pounds just about, things are not always, you know, what you want. But I, I can't complain. And I can't look at the skin and go, well, you're not exactly where you want to be. I would love to be like 15 pounds lighter than I am on the scale. But I know that's way too thin for me. I can't get there. And I've got all the belly hanging things, and that puts me in another zip coat and pants. I probably could get down to an, an eight or a nine, but I can only do what I can do, and I gotta live with myself. And I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy. And this stuff is officially out of here. I'm in a 10. I'm staying there for the rest of my born days. The 14s are gone. Those were my skinny jeans. Mm-hmm. There's a new Sierra from Tam. She's cute. And she's thick. Yeah. Welcome home, baby. Oh, yeah. My shirts. I love my shirts. And I spent $100. My mother sent me a gift certificate to Penny's. Thank you, Mother. And I did very good. I bought two pairs of pants, uh, jeans and leggings, and I've never had leggings in my life. And three shirts and one that was warm. I bought this isn't it this one in an extra large because I wanted the comfiness of it and I you know like I said I've got you know shoring up to do but it, it's not gonna happen overnight and it may never happen completely. I'm okay with that. I did I set out to do what I wanted to do. I lost nearly 140 pounds and I am the new me. I am me again. I found me. <laughs> I excavated and I found me. And that feels pretty dang good. Let me tell Officially you. Done. I'm labeling myself victorious. And you can too. I'm 56 years old and I had nothing to do with my age at all. I fought for some of that weight. I can tell you that some of that weight totally just fell off of me because I didn't want to eat. I was eating half a cup of food and I was fine and you know my body seems to understand now what to do and I mentally seem to understand what not to do and so the two of us are meeting right there in the middle and we're having a good time we're like party it's time okay it's time to enjoy my life the rest of it what I got left being the weight I'm supposed to be for my frame and being able to go in there and pick something off that rock and go, aren't you cute? You come home with me. And knowing I don't even have to try this sucker on and it's gonna fit me. You don't even know. Or maybe you do know. Maybe you've been through it. Leave me a comment, let me know. If you, yeah, it's, it's easy just to say, I give up. I almost did. I thought this is the way I'm gonna be for the rest of my life. I'm gonna be fat. I didn't settle for that. Thank God I didn't. I have a brand new life and I'm gonna live it. Thanks for joining me. I'm gonna probably do two more videos on weight loss because I've I have a passion for this and I have some more things to share with you that I've encountered and that I'm still doing because exercise is a very important part of keeping things down and I have to do it in a creative way because I have a foot problem and I have a spinal problem. We'll go into more detail with you 
in that exercise video that's coming up and I'm planning that I'm in the middle of getting that together it'll be fun and it probably will be informative maybe you've got issues as well I you know I have to really watch how I exercise because I can't exercise like normal people do I have to be very careful because of bending and stooping I cannot do I can't create inflammation in my back and bending and stooping is out um, it creates so much inflammation and then I'm just down for the count I'm lucky I'm not in a wheelchair because I've got certain issues and I'll go into that with you on the next video so thank you for watching please hit the subscribe button if you like more videos on this line or anything in our little arsenal of videos fantastic things are coming up we're gonna take you on trips we're gonna take you um, flying over the ice caves in a drone in just a couple of months we're excited we've got lots of things to do and we're going to go hunting soon so don't leave us come with us we want to take you on some journeys okay now that I'm fit enough to go on them we're going thanks for watching see you next time thanks for going shopping with me